Hey, this is Judge Waits bringing you some more hardcore action in Black Ops 2. This is on one of the new DLC maps, Magma. And I don't know about you, but this is not one of my favorite maps. But I am going to be rocking the M8 on this map. Going for a swarm. We'll see if I can pick it up. Last time I died one away from it in my previous video on the map studio. And here is a nice host migration. That reminds me, you know, I thought there was supposed to be moving Magma on this map. And I have yet to see that. I don't know. I tend to stay out of the middle of the map. So maybe I just haven't seen it but let me know if there is actually moving magma that can kill you on this map because like i said i just have not seen it now i wanted to talk to you guys today about some new movies that are coming out this summer just seems jam-packed in movies that i want to see i don't know if these are just guy movies uh, i know some of them aren't just guy movies like iron man 3 i'm really looking forward to that my wife is really looking forward to that so i'm going to take the whole entire family now all these movies i'm not going to go see in the theaters because that would just get way too expensive but you know that is definitely one that i want to see I definitely want to see Star Trek Into Darkness, the new Superman. Uh, you know, I just love these types of movies. World War Z is another one. Oblivion's out now. I have not seen that. I will not go see that, but I definitely want to rent that when it comes out. I think the next Hunger Games movie is coming out. My wife has read all those books, so I know she'll be wanting to go see that. I think the next phase of The Hobbit, you know, part two is going to be coming out where they take on Smog. So, you know, there are a ton of movies, and I know I'm missing some out there. But I'm curious, what are you guys looking forward to this summer? What are you going to go see? What are you going to rent? You know, let me know that in the comments section. One movie that I wanted to talk about that I'm actually going to go rent, but one that I'm really looking forward to, too, is a movie that's out right now called 42. Now, if you don't know what 42 is about, it's actually about the life of Jackie Robinson, who is a great baseball player. He was the one who broke the color barrier, if you will. You know, at this time, you had the league, and the league was made up of only white guys. You know, no black people or anything else were playing in this league. They had a separate colored league for black people and everything like that. So they actually brought in Jackie Robinson into this league and kind of broke the racist barrier that was going on. Now, uh, one thing that I hope they pull out in this movie is Jackie Robinson's faith because Jackie Robinson was a man of faith. He was a Christian and he really has an awesome biography. You know, make sure you can read that. I, you know, I, I have a feeling that Hollywood is going to downplay it or not play it at all. If you've seen this movie, let me know how it turns out because, you know, I, I'm hoping they do it justice. You know, I was reading his biography a long time ago and most people probably don't know this, but Jackie Robinson was actually chosen for for this by uh, the Brooklyn Dodgers president Ricky because he was a Christian and because he could model basically like a Christ-like behavior. You know, uh, Ricky knew that whoever stepped up into this position he knew that that person was going to be taunted, was going to have death threats, was going to have, you know, all these racial slurs coming at them. And he wanted somebody that wouldn't stoop to their level. In fact, when he first met with Jackie Robinson, he actually read him part of the Sermon on the Mount. And the part that says, you know, hey, if somebody slaps your cheek, you know, turn the other cheek, you know. He wanted somebody that was brave enough and had the guts enough not to fight back. And, and what I mean by fight back is not to stoop to these people's levels and just escalate the situation he wanted somebody that could take it and could rise above it and that's who he got and that's why he chose Jackie Robinson you know Jackie Robinson was a, was a man of God he was a follower of Christ one who modeled Christ's behavior and it's really cool and I, and I hope Hollywood brings that out I, I sure I'm sure they're not going to um, but it would be awesome if they did you know, when I think about Jackie Robinson and what that guy endured, um, honestly, I don't think I could have endured it, especially as well as he did. You know, I probably would have been a person if somebody said some racial crap to me that I would just punch him in the face or, you know, go after him. You know, and it's just a good reminder, you know, this whole story and thinking about him is just a good reminder that we as followers of Christ are called to be different than society. You know what I'm saying? You know, we're not called to react and act like society does. We're called to be different. It's a part of the upside down kingdom that Jesus started when he was on this earth. You know, he said, you know, I didn't come to be served. I came to serve. You know, most people want to be served. Most people want to be above other people, but Jesus came to do the exact opposite of that. So, you know, I want to challenge you guys with that. You know, if you're a follower of Christ, if you're not, don't listen to this challenge, but if you're a follower of Christ, act differently. You should look different than society. We're called to be salt and light. You know, if somebody comes at us and everything, 
anything like that. We're called to turn the other cheek. We're not called to get back at them and be a part of revenge and things like that. You know, like I said, we're just called to be different. And when we do things like that, that's when other people are going to be able to see Jesus Christ and to see this Christianity thing in action. So I just want to challenge you guys with that. Let's just be people that rise above. You know, the only way that you're going to be able to rise above things like that and things of this world is if your relationship is intact and is in a good place with Jesus Christ. You know, Jackie Robinson had that daily quiet time where he'd kneel down by his bedside. He actually said in an interview about this, you know, where he was talking about kneeling down to pray every night, he said it's the best way to grow closer to God, and it is. Is. You know, and then he even added that it's also the best way to stop a hard hit ground ball. You know, so this is the type of guy that we're looking at. But I uh, hope this helps you out. Hope this challenges you. If you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. If you've seen 42, let me know if they do a good job representing his faith. But as always, guys, take care and God bless.